A sad day indeed. For the first time in over three years, SpaceX missed a booster landing, interrupting its streak as it was on the verge of setting a new record. This unexpected event prompted the FAA to request an investigation, sparking various reactions across the aerospace community. What exactly happened, and what's gonna happen next? SpaceX wasn't the only one facing challenges. Another U.S. company also encountered a setback during a rocket test, underscoring the inherent difficulties in developing rockets. There is a lot to cover today, so let's dive right in on today's episode of Great SpaceX. Recently, at 3.48 a.m. on August 28th, SpaceX launched a Falcon 9 from SLC-40 in Florida, carrying 21 Starlink satellites into orbit. This mission was poised to set several significant milestones. The 367th launch to date, the 82nd Falcon 9 mission this year, the 342nd landing to date, and notably the 23rd landing of the Falcon 9 booster B-1062, a record-breaking reuse that would have further solidified SpaceX's dominance in the field of reusable rockets. However, an unexpected incident occurred that halted these achievements. After stage separation, the booster returned to land on the drone ship a shortfall of gravitas. Everything appeared routine until the booster approached the drone ship. Upon watching the landing video, it was clear that something was amiss. The landing speed seemed unusually fast. As the booster neared the drone ship, its landing legs deployed as expected, but the engines continued to burn, suggesting a potential issue with deceleration. The booster then tilted toward one leg, the flames intensified, and the booster tipped over, likely resulting in its destruction. This marks a significant incident in Falcon 9's landing record, breaking a streak of 267 consecutive successful landings over more than three and a half years since the last failure in February of 2021. This incident is especially notable because SpaceX has set a high bar for reliability, with each successful landing showcasing the company's engineering prowess. It's worth noting that another Falcon 9 booster, B-1058, was lost late last year due to high winds and waves during recovery, a different scenario from this incident, which occurred during the actual landing process. SpaceX has announced that it will investigate the issue to determine the root cause. Based on observations and initial analyses, there are a few possible explanations for what went wrong. Firstly, the engine may not have decelerated the booster sufficiently for a soft landing. The landing speed was noticeably higher than usual, and the engines didn't fully shut down even as the booster was almost in contact with the drone ship, with flames still visible. This suggests a problem in the deceleration phase where the booster's velocity wasn't adequately reduced, leading to a harder-than-usual touchdown. Secondly, the landing leg may not have locked securely, potentially due to interference from the engine flames. This could have caused the booster to topple over as it tried to land. Additionally, the landing leg might have caught fire, exacerbating the situation and leading to a more significant failure, spreading flames to other parts of the booster and causing everything to spiral out of control. These are just speculations, and I invite you to share your analysis in the comments so we can discuss it further. As expected, the FAA quickly launched an investigation. In their statement, they said, The FAA is requiring an investigation. An investigation is designed to further enhance public safety, determine the root cause of the event, and identify corrective actions to avoid it from happening again. The FAA will be involved in every step of the investigation process and must approve SpaceX's final report, including any corrective actions. Regarding future flights, the FAA added, A return to flight of the Falcon 9 booster rocket is based on the FAA determining that any system, process, or procedure related to the anomaly does not affect public safety. In addition, SpaceX may need to request and receive approval from the FAA to modify its license that incorporates any corrective actions and meets all other licensing requirements. While an investigation is necessary, I question why the FAA is scrutinizing a process like landing, which doesn't significantly impact the mission's primary goal of deploying satellites. The primary objective of the mission, deploying Starlink satellites, was achieved successfully, but the focus on reusability is where SpaceX has set itself apart. This investigation could slow SpaceX's progress, especially after the FAA also investigated a recent Falcon 9 second stage anomaly. It could even delay other missions, including the highly anticipated Polaris Dawn. SpaceX's VP of Falcon Launch Vehicles, John Edward, commented, Losing a booster is always sad. Each one of them has a unique history and character. Thankfully, this doesn't happen often due to the robust design and vigilance of the team. We are working as hard as we can to thoroughly understand the root cause and get corrective actions in place ASAP. One thing we do know, 
One thing we do know, though, is that this was purely a recovery issue and posed no threat to the primary mission or public safety. Kiko Donchev, SpaceX's VP of Launch, supported this view, emphasizing that the incident was a unique failure in the otherwise reliable recovery process. I hope the FAA concludes its investigation swiftly. Their own statement confirms that no public injuries or public property damage have been reported. SpaceX's strategy of landing on a drone ship in the ocean is a genius solution that minimizes risks to people and infrastructure, further justifying the need for a prompt resolution to avoid unnecessary delays. The incident did not affect the Starlink deployment, which was the mission's primary objective. The impact is on SpaceX's reusability goals, a feat few companies can achieve. The booster's reusability is a cornerstone of SpaceX's cost-saving strategy and its ability to maintain a high launch cadence. Delays in the FAA's investigation could disrupt important missions. Polaris Dawn, for example, might not launch in August as planned. In September, there is Crew-9, and NASA recently selected SpaceX Dragon for the potential rescue of Starliner astronauts. Any delays in the investigation could affect these missions, leading to a ripple effect that could impact SpaceX's schedule and broader objectives. More broadly, SpaceX's focus on landing and reuse distinguishes it from the competition. The FAA's investigations into landing incidents could hinder this trend, making new companies hesitant to develop similar capabilities thereby impacting the U.S.'s competitive edge in space. The global space industry is closely watching how the FAA handles this, as it could influence the future of reusable rocket technology. We'll have to wait for further updates from the FAA and SpaceX. However, we can be optimistic that the issue will be resolved quickly. In a recent second-stage anomaly, SpaceX and the FAA took just two weeks to resume flights, so this landing incident might be resolved even faster. The SpaceX team's diligence in identifying and addressing the issue will be crucial, and their ability to quickly learn from failures has been a hallmark of their success. This incident also serves as a valuable opportunity for SpaceX to review and enhance its systems after a long period of success. Elon Musk commented, now we figure out what went wrong to drive the landing failure rate above, above, above. above one in a thousand, then one in ten thousand, one in a million, etc. Regarding Polaris Dawn, Musk emphasized safety, saying, we could have launched and it would have been fine, but safety is paramount, so better to check all systems again. As for the mission hardware, B-1062 launched for the 23rd time marking a significant milestone in SpaceX's reuse strategy and the company's overall excellence. While this might be the final mission for B-1062, its contribution to SpaceX's success has been invaluable, and it has paved a way for future boosters to achieve even greater milestones. This may well be the last contribution of B-1062 to SpaceX's missions, as it might have reached its operational limit. However, this incident will drive SpaceX to further improve its systems, aiming for even more ambitious milestones, such as 40 flights per booster. Currently, SpaceX has B-1061 with 22 launches, B-1067 with 21 launches, and many other boosters that have surpassed 10 launches. These will continue to operate, building on the achievements of B-1062. During this challenging time, I hope you continue to support the SpaceX team. I believe that after this incident, they'll make a strong comeback, creating new milestones and achieving important goals. Please show your support and gratitude to B1062 by commenting SPX62 below. Then, don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's journey. Aside from SpaceX, ABL Space recently faced a significant challenge with their RS-1 rocket during a static fire test. The company ignited the E-2 engines, but the test was aborted after just a half a second due to a low-pressure reading caused by a faulty sensor. Although the engines shut down as intended, a fire broke out under the rocket fueled by leaks from two engines. Efforts to extinguish the fire were hampered by the limited water supply, causing the fire to spread. Eventually, the RS-1 collapsed onto the pad, damaging critical electrical and plumbing connections. The root cause was traced to issues with the propellant injector and liner, likely due to differences in the Block 2 Stage 1 propellant feed system. This incident follows a previous RS-1 launch failure earlier in 2023, underlining the inherent difficulties in rocket development. 
ABL Space, like many other companies in the space industry, must navigate these technical challenges to advance their technology. Despite these setbacks, ABL Space remains committed to improving their systems and continuing their pursuit of reliable space launch capabilities. Their experiences reflect the high stakes and the persistent effort required in the aerospace sector, where every failure is a step toward eventual success. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.